Hey Jasmine, do you want to know something cool about camels? I'm not really awake enough for that yet. I haven't even had a cup of coffee. Oh goodness, I'm already on my third cup. Maybe my story about camels will pick you up. What do you say? Okay, what's got you so wound up? Brilliant. So camels, along with other camelids like alpacas and llamas, produce very unique antibodies from which a very small piece, called a nanobody, can be used to fight disease. That's all? Really? I mean, don't most organisms produce those? What's so special about camels? Well, yeah, but these are particularly interesting because of their stability and their size. They're incredibly small, which means they can attach to pathogens where other antibodies cannot. Plus, they're able to survive in a variety of conditions. Well, good for them. No, it's good for us, and especially good for growers looking for a way to fight citrus greening disease. Wait, what's citrus greening disease? Glad you asked. So since 2005, citrus greening disease has caused a greater than 70% decline in citrus production in Florida. Researchers have been working hard to find a solution to this massive problem, and they seem to have found one. They can actually take agrobacterium, which forms these large bumps or goals on trees, and use those bumps kind of like an insulin pump is used for humans to treat diabetes. They call the goals symbionts, and they already demonstrated that it can produce molecules that move out of the symbiont and into the tree. Actually, that's kind of cool. Right, it's very cool. Researchers may have also found a way to use symbionts in veterinary and human medicine. Where do you even hear about this stuff? That's easy. I follow USDA Agricultural Research Service on social media. They're doing revolutionary research for a growing world. Do you think they could engineer a symbiont to give me caffeine? I'll definitely start following their research. But first, coffee.